YouTube! The YouTubers hashtag 79 here. I'm going to, today I'm going to show you how to create a Craftlogic server and a cool DNS name to go with it. But first you want to open your internet browser and go to bucket.org. And you want to hit get craft bucket. When it takes you to setting up a server page, go to get bucket. Now you want to click beta build because 1.6.4 will probably not work with the version of Minecraft that you are running. So click beta build and wait for that to download. I've already got it, so you don't need to do anything about that right now. Then we want to go to free DNS. Afraid.org. All the links will be in the description, so don't worry about that. Um, hit subdomains. I've already. You want to click set up an account here. So I'll probably put a link to that in the description as well. But I've already got one, so I'll just log in. I need to log in. Okay, I've already got. A few. Once you guys are in, you want to click subdomains anyway, and then you want to hit add. Make sure this is A. Uh, select from your list here. So I'm going to make this one jumpingcrab.com. Just and then name the subdomain whatever you want to be. I'm going to make it YouTube. Tutorial um, 519 and I'm just going to hit that anyway. Um, you can do that's optional and you need your destination IP. If It will automatically put that there but if it doesn't go to cmyip.com and um, wait for this to load. And this will be your IP here. That will be your IP you need. Uh, we don't need that anymore. So once that done, just hit save. Like this, hit save. And then um, we want to go into the folder, our downloads folder. Find the craft bucket we want to copy it and create a new folder on our desktop and um, just want to call it tutorial server I'm just calling it that you can name it whatever I want you to hit that I'm going to go paste now just name that craft bucket. Because what we actually need to do is we need to go new um, text document and just name it run. And you want to open that up and um, then you want to type at echo off. I'm just going to refer to my other server to make sure I've got everything right. So I'm just going, to, yeah, I'm just going to need to refer to my other server because I, yeah, I don't want to stuff you guys up. So I just find it. Uh, also, oh, not that one. So here's your run file. You want to hit edit. That you don't need to do this. Now, I'll put this in the description as a default, all of this. But for now, I'm just going to copy and paste it into here to run the server. And then you're just going to hit save. And then you're going to hit save as all files. But you want to save it as .bat. Hit save. Don't need that now. Go 
back to our tutorial server. We can now delete this file. Hit run. Now it will load libraries. So while it's doing that, um, we're just going to get our Minecraft launchers ready. See, once this is done, it will start creating um, these in here. We need them. I'm just going to hit play. Now, this will almost be done. But it's, it's going to look like this. For a minute. Or two. Okay, now it's done. On your Minecraft launcher, you're going to hit multiplayer. You want to add a server. And name it... And name it whatever you want. And then you've got your server's address is then going to be whatever address you chose on your subdomain sections. So mine is YouTube tutorial five one nine dot dot jumping crab dot com jumping grab.com and then you'll need semicolon 25565 at the end and that will be yours it was just going to take a while to load Now you can actually put that, well as you can see that won't work if you're on a um, network, if you're running it from your network, so therefore you need to put it on your local IP address, so mine is 10.1.1.150 and then you need, still need to turn it on, so there's two ways you can do it, and then I hit join server and it will log in. And then once it's logged in, we've got all of this. Okay, so there's the server. And we can, um, we don't need that anymore. And now, we're going to close that. So, go typing stop in the console. And then we're going to hit enter. And then there'll be a file here called server. Click that. Now, these are all your settings. Now, if you want to play over the internet as, on your, as a friend to a server, you want to make an online mode true. And if you want to change your mod to D, I'm just going to name it YouTube server. And you can hit save. Now your server IP has to be whatever your local IP is. So mine's 192. Like, yeah, 10.1.1.150. And then um, you just make sure all these settings are correct. Make sure it's 25565 here. Because that's um, basically the only way it's going to be. Um, if you want to force game mode, change that to true. And then you're going to hit save. You're going to close that, and you run your server again. And you just wait for the files to load. So while you're doing that, get it back into your Minecraft launcher. Okay, so here's your server. Now, that's your address if you're on a local network. Some of you might have to use the um, GNS address, but for my network, I've got to use local. I 
Okay, then um, then you put yeah, so like a version whatever, and then you put um, you do that done. And your server should be finished loading by now. Okay, and that's just going to wait at the moment. Okay, so now it's going to log in. And, um, it's going to log in. And you're going to die again if you do that. At the moment, I'm just going to disconnect. That is how you will create a Minecraft server through Bucket. Also, um, I'll be doing a tutorial later on how to add plugins to a bucket server, so watch that.